everyone, and welcome to the campus of Coon Rapids High School for CTN's live presentation of Boys High School Basketball. Today, the Cardinals welcome the North St. Paul Polars here to the uh, to the field house. Howie Shapiro alongside Lexi Schweiner. Lexi, this is uh, you're new at this. Welcome, baptism under fire for you. You're going to be able to do color with me. We're really excited. This is a Cardinal team that uh, lost pretty handily to Apple Valley, although Coach Ogorek liked the way that they played in the second half. Yeah, exactly. They ended up actually outscoring Apple Valley 39 to 36, despite trailing by over 20 at half. I think those penalty or fouls really hurt them in the first half. But Coach O said he was really proud of what they were able to do, especially without two of their key guys, who both of them are back in the lineup tonight. One of them who we're going to talk about in just a little bit. And the Polars are a seven-win team from a year ago. They lost their opener handily to Roseville. You know, they're, they're, they're a team that are relatively young, although they have a handful of centers. But they're, they're led by a guard, Reiner Salinas, who is the kind of the quiet scorer. Yes, exactly. I was just talking with Coach Harris, and he said in their loss on Tuesday, Ryder scored 15 points, and he didn't even realize it until after the game, just because the type of player that he is. He's so quiet. He comes in, does his hard work, and leads by example. He's also been on varsity since his sophomore year. It is Coach Harris's first year, which we'll talk about more during the broadcast, but it's going to be exciting to see what Ryder does for the team, especially because last year, you told me earlier, he was only averaging around seven points per game. And the Cardinals, of course, uh, they were missing a couple of starters. One very important starter back in the lineup tonight is Jerry Freeman. And, and certainly this is a boost for the for the Cardinals because, because Coach Agoric feels they match up really well with this North St. Paul team. Yeah, we could definitely tell that he was missing key guys, Jerry Freeman and Parker Stoll. He said that he thought the team it just wasn't playmaking as well without these two guys. He thinks they're going to move the ball a lot more. He did say that Jeremy Ott played well for them at point guard, but lacked playmaking beyond him. So it's going to be great to have 5'10 senior Jerry Freeman back. He was out with ankle issues like Parker was, but so excited that they're both back tonight. And Jerry's 12 points are going to be so welcome here. We're going to be back after this with the tip-off from the, from the field house. We're very excited tonight. Lexi and I will be back with you shortly. It's going to be hard to hear, but it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be so much fun. The entire student section is decked out in all black attire. You can really feel the mood is so positive here. And we have these amazing ball boys to help us with the game. Yeah, it's youth night here at uh, Roger E. Carson, so it's exciting. And you talked about uh, across the way, all the kids are dressed out in black. The black uniforms for Coon Rapids, I love them. It's going to be, a, it's going to be exciting. And this is, again, we talked about it in the opening. This is a game that Coon Rapids feels as long as they, they continue to play well, and especially on defense, they have the opportunity to get their first win of the year. Totally agree. Coach O actually told me that he felt the entire last game, especially the first half and half of the second half, he felt like they were just playing defense the whole time, could not focus on offense at all. It's going to be so exciting to see their two players, Jerry Freeman and Marcus Stoll, back in the lineup. And fun fact about these two teams, they haven't met since 2015. So it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. And it didn't help, didn't help the Cardinals that they got into early foul trouble against Apple Valley, especially missing those two players. So that's another one of the keys we'll, we'll talk about as the game goes on. Got to stay out of foul trouble. Yep, for sure. Key for tonight. And there's Jerry Freeman. We talked about him. He's he's really a lot of fun. He's really a good ba uh, basketball player. He leads this team. He's their point guard, and he's going to try and get their offense going. And we talked about they have to get back on defense. That's going to be the key for him. North St. Paul will love to play transition basketball. Something interesting as well that we talked about last time was the shot clock, which really didn't affect either team much at all. So we'll see if that factors in tonight. There's a look at head coach Anthony Harris of the Polars. 
as we're getting ready to jump. First year as coach for him. Yep. His son is actually the coach of the freshman yep. team, even though their game was canceled tonight. Basketball coaching runs in the family. It definitely does. We're going to have Jason Russ and Brevin Conway jumping tonight to start this one off. We're getting ready. We have tip off. And definitely both have the height. Yes. He wins the tip and goes to Freeman. Tried to get underneath the young. And, but uh, Ramadan Hassan is gonna tip it. And we'll stay with the Cardinals. Young from underneath. Gets it up top to, to Parker Stoll. And back over to Jackson Young. And he is, they are back. Yeah, they I are mean, definitely back. Yeah, and he got in foul trouble early. And, it made it difficult for him to get in his game. Brings it up top to Duke King. Back Tip. over to Salinas, and it's taken away. Russ back over to Stoll. Up top to Jerry Freeman from three. Kiss off the backboard. And the Cardinals are up two three-pointers, up 6 nothing. Coach O looks pumped right now as he's windmilling his arm, <laughs> keeping this momentum going. He didn't see a lot of that Tuesday night. Works it across, and it's Conway with the shot off the backboard, and Russ with the rebound. Down quickly to Young, and another three, and he's feeling it. That's three three-pointers for the Cardinals, two by Jackson Young. Nine nothing Cardinals, what a difference from Tuesday night. Yeah, that was Salinas trying the three. Conway getting the rebound, gets it back up top to King. Over to Ajit Mahe, and they're going to say it was kicked by Connor Jordan. And there has not been a single foul so far. No, not yet. What a difference. Keep your fingers crossed. There's head coach Micah Gork, as you mentioned. Likes the start. At Jamahe back up top over to King in the corner. Back to King. At Jamahe up top. He's going to try and distribute it underneath. Gets it to Hassan, back in the corner. Off the mark, and I think they're going to call Brevin Conway with the infraction. Salinas was trying to hit that three. Did not have the shot there. No. That's the first foul on Conway. Gets it up top to Russ, underneath to Jackson Young. Gets it back over to Jordan. Quickly swings it to Jerry Freeman. Jerry's working on Ejimahe. And Russ with a nice little look underneath, can't get it to fall. And the Polars are gonna come away with a loose basketball. That's Conway back in the corner. That's short, that's gonna be short. A Little bit of contact there. Yep. You're going to see it. That's, that's going to go on Freeman, his first. But that will be a shooting foul for Duke King. They definitely want these points right now. They need them. Anthony Belpedio coming in. He is going to take the place of Jason Russ's. Is Russ getting a little of uh, instruction from Coach O. And he hits them both. Back in the quarter to Belpedio. He's going to be short on the shot and a quick rebound by Hassan. Tried to get a quick play in there, but just didn't have the time for that. Nope. King over in the up court. Gets it down to Conway in the corner. Oh. And that's a... Bad pass, and Jackson Young is going to take it to the hole, and he gets the basket. He has eight. Cardinals up 11-2. Toon Rapids taking advantage of those early mistakes by the Polars. Up 11-2 before this timeout. Yeah, Coach Harris going to call an early timeout. It's a pretty good one. You're, you're down by nine early. It's still obviously plenty of time, Lexi, and 
and so he's going to talk to his guys, get a little strategy. And on the other turn, it gets an opportunity for Coach O to talk to his guys a little about what he sees out there, what he wants them to continue to do. They're, they're off to a nice start. Yeah, things are definitely working for them. You can tell they're playing as a team. And something that Coach Harris actually told me in our conversation was something that his team struggles with is kind of that me mentality. They're just thinking about themselves and not as a collective team. And right now, the Cardinals are really proving that they are working as a team. Yeah, and, and they want to continue to do that, obviously, because they were disappointed, especially with that first half on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, they, they, they come out looking like a different ball club here early on. For sure. You have your four starters plus Anthony Belpedio on the floor for the Cardinals. Starters are the same for the Polars. Got some nice country music going on yep. in the background. Yeah, you know, Love they play it. it all. Tommy G, class of 73, is on the PA mic tonight playing uh, his selection of tunes. He's some good taste. Yes. He's a good man. Oh, I think there's a little bit of sweat on the floor that they're going to wipe off right now before yeah. play resumes. And that's probably a good thing. Nobody, Especially with the ankle issues lately. You don't, yeah, no one needs to, to get hurt because of that, obviously, so because of something you can water. avoid. And, Just saved that one. Edge of Mamhe over to King. King's gonna lose the Lost handle. That. Parker stole with the basketball. Gets it in the corner to Young. He's gonna get stifled a little bit, trying to get it across court, and he's gonna give up the ball to Hassan. Son. Stole actually not supposed to be back until next week, so. Oh, nice three, three by, by Elijah Edge Makes it 11-5, favor of the Cardinals. And that time Freeman tried to drive the basket, and he's going to pick. He's going to be followed by Duke King. Oh no, they're going to call uh, Elijah Adjamahe. But there's the three, and he's dangerous. We talked to Coach Harris about him. He's a very good player, and uh, there's uh, where you saw the foul—a little reach and grab. Jackson Young tried to get it inside to Stoll, but got his own shot back, attempt back in the corner to Freeman. Oh. He's Can't do that. Well. Oh. Oh, no, they say he turned the ball over. Ed Edgemahe got a little bit of contact, but the officials didn't call it, and they're going to turn the ball over. It'll be the pollers. A little ball. surprised about that one. Yeah, I was a little too, but unless he, unless he stepped out of bounds before it happened. Mm -hmm. North St. Paul having a little bit of a chance to add on here. The lead now cut down to six with that three-pointer. Well, there's, there's an offensive foul. Great job, and see, that's what you miss from Jerry Freeman. He's the guy that'll take a charge. He's not afraid to, to get the contact and pick up the foul. Yeah, you can see it right there, kind of went into yep. Jerry's head. That's Brevin Conway. That's his second here early on for the Polars. Freeman running the show. Looking over to Young, gives it off to Belpedio. Oh, nice job, tapped away by Hassan. Well, then Hassan's gonna lose the handle on it. Oh, I think he lost the basketball before there was contact. He lost the basketball before there was contact. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he... They're saying... I don't know. It was let's a foul, take a, let's take a, Well, it was foul, I, I think he just lost the handle. I don't think there was any contact on Belpedio. But nonetheless, the officials call it, and I don't. I can just Leave offer. Leave it to the professionals. I can offer my two and a half cents. So that will be a, a shooting opportunity. And the line shoots two. One more. Hassan. Now in for North, number 12. First one by Hassan is good. That's his first point, looking to make it two here from the line. And he does, cuts the lead to 11-7. In the corner, Belpedio driving the basket, tried to get it off. And I don't know if he knocked it away, knocked it away from Belpedio, so it'll be remain with the Cardinals. Go 
Lopidio inside to Jordan. Nice move. Beautiful look. And Jordan, with using that strength and size, gets inside. Put the lead back to six. And Jamahme inside to Conway back in the corner. That shot was just not there. No, but he got his own rebound back up top over to Duke King, and he's going to try the long one, but a nice job by Ryder Salinas to get inside, win that battle, and put the tip in. Makes 13 to 9. Jerry Freeman with the basketball going in between two defenders, and they're going to call it Scrabble. Jackson Hetwer is going to... There's the shot, but look at Salinas just charge the basket. He was right there ready for that play. Yes, he was. That's a heads-up play. We're going to see Jackson Hetwer now in for Belpedio. And Travail Hodge coming in for the Polars. Hassan will take a breather on the bench. King with the basketball. Over to Ejimahe, all across court. Almost a steal there by Stoll. Back to Ejimahe, he's gonna try and drive the middle. Good defense by Jordan. Over to the corner for Swift. And he's gonna drop that now. Just a two-point lead for Coon Rapids. Hetwer with the basketball, trying to get around King. Good defense there over to Jordan, back off to Young. He's gonna take the long shot, drains the three. He has 11 of the 16 Cardinal points tonight. Makes the three motion right after that. Definitely celebrating a little bit. Well, and there's a turnover. And I think I think Young got hit by him too with that. Nothing else was called. But let's take another look at that. As Young with way downtown, nothing but that. Kenny Jones in the basketball game for the Cardinals. He's going to drive the basket, gets it over to Hetwer. Hetwer driving inside, back to Jordan. And he tries the three, and it's hard off the iron. Ejimahe with the rebound. Gets it in the corner to Salinas. Back to King. Back to Ejimahe in the corner to Swift. Down underneath, trying to find Hodge, but Hodge is going to turn the ball over. They're moving it just a little bit too quickly and kind of lost control of that yeah. play there. We're gonna, again, you're trying to you're trying to make something happen. One thing that Coach Harris told me is some of my guys try to play hero ball and they want to they want to be the scorer. And they, they need he needs more just distribution, more teamwork, and he's trying to get it here tonight. Jordan with the basketball up up to Stowell, back off to Kenny Jones. Kenny Jones gets it up top to Young. Young trying to drive the basket. Good defense there by the Polars inside to Jones and back to, to Jordan, but the ball's going to be turned over. Salinas in the corner to Swift. He's going to try look for the three, put it up, and not successful. And Parker Stoll with the rebound gets it to Hetworth. Young again with the shot. Oh, boy, he's, he's on fire. He is on fire. That one had a little bit more height, and it just I, I perfectly sure, dropped right into the basket. I wasn't sure when he let it go. Lexi, if it was going to go in, but... I want to know the hang time on that. <laughs> Back over. King to Ejimahe. Back to King. Nobody there in the corner. And that's going to be a turnover. Joe Young's favorite player, Jeremy Adi. We wish Joe Young a speedy recovery. He's not feeling well tonight. And uh, we certainly miss him here, but we're trying to fill in the best as we can for the voice of Coon Rapids, Joe Yund. Inside to Kenny Jones, back up top to Jordan. He's going to try the three, and he's going to hit. This time he's successful. At 22-11 in favor of the Cardinals. The Polars uh, cut the lead to two, but the Cardinals did a nice job getting it back. And then inside turnover there. And Jackson Young with the rebound. Adi with the basketball. Gets, gets, gets it up top to Jones, back over to Jackson Young. Oh, nice little pretty dribble there inside to Jones, back up top to Hetworth. He's going to try the three hard off the iron, and Swift with the rebound. You can feel how fast this game is moving. Something Coach O said is he wants to push the pace and kind of move the pieces to the paint. And North St. Paul kind of lacks that size and depth. 
compared to the Cardinals. Well, that was a, a miss by King and the rebound by Young. Young's taking it up court, gets it in the corner to Hetwer. Hetwer can't get that one to drop. And Swift with, I'm sorry, Hodge with the rebound. Another timeout called by the Polars, Lexi. And yeah, they're down by 11. They, they, they need to, to figure out what they can do to try and get back into this basketball game. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the Cardinals right now are driving the pace of this game and kind of keeping North St. Paul off balance, especially when they're on offense. You can just tell Coon Rapids right now is in a very good place. Coach O talking to his team right now, reiterating, things are doing well, let's keep doing them. Yeah, exactly, and I'm sure he's, I'm, I'm sure he's not happy with everything, but I think the majority of the game that he's pretty happy with. Yeah. You know, the big key for me, what at this is that you know Thank both teams you, coming down one and done maybe missing a shot the key for Coon Rapids is they're coming down and converting baskets whereas the Polars are missing those opportunities that's why we're up by the Cardinals are up by 11. And I do feel like they are scrambling a little bit with some of these plays and trying to move the ball too fast and having a turnover or just completely missing the shot which is where they're missing those opportunities and the score reflects it right now. No oh, abso absolutely but and again you, as a coach you want to call a timeout you want to slow things down a little bit to talk about because Coach Harris can see some things that maybe his guys aren't seeing. So they want to kind of slow this action down and by calling this timeout, saying, here's what I see, let's work on this. We got to get stops and then we got to get points. And the, the student section, Lexi, across from us, they're, they're excited. They're into every single play of yes, this game. Yes, they are. Duke King will take the basketball out for the Polars and get it to Ejimahe. Good pressure defense from Coon Rapids. In, in the corner over to Salinas, and he's going to lose the handle on it, and it's going to go out of, out of bounds. And, you know, when you call those timeouts, you want to get points off the timeouts. Unfortunately, for the Polars, they, got a, they had a turnover. Luckily, right now, they can't afford that, though. Freeman back in. Running the show over to Jordan. Jordan up top. Gets it over to Hetwer. Hetwer trapped a little bit. Gets it back to Freeman up top. Freeman's going to drive the basket underneath to Jordan. Back in the corner to Hetwer. He's going to try the three. And he's going to drain the three. He missed his first two attempts, but he was true there. They have been clutched from the three-point line. Salinas with the little jumper. He's going to go off the iron. See right there, just a little bit too fast, and he's not set up for the shot yeah, yet. They're going to call off balance. Yeah, they're going to call Hetwer with over the back, I believe. No, they're going to call Jordan. Connor Jordan on there, but look at the nice pass by Freeman and the nice bucket by Hetwer. I mean, you can see some of the things that Jerry Freeman does, not you know, as far as not scoring, but setting up his teammates to score. Setting him up for success for sure. Such yep. a difference from Tuesday night. You can tell he's really the playmaker on the team. Yep. I guess that went off, uh, went off the Cardinals, so Polars will retain possession. Trying to get it inside to Hodge. He's troubled by that Cardinal defense. Whip around to Salinas. He's going to try and hit that long shot. Good rebound by Jackson Young. That shot just not there for nope. Ryder right now. Not yet. King's going to tip that ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Coon Rapids. Raymond Bennett in the action for the Cardinals. He had 10 points the other night in that loss to Apple Valley. So on the floor for Coon Rapids, it's Russ, Freeman, Bennett, Young, and Jordan. Russ is going to get it over to the side, underneath to Jordan. Just a beautiful play. And Jordan uses his strength, his size, to get that bucket. 27-11 in favor six, of the Cardinals. That's height coming in handy there. You know it. Ejimahe being doubled by Young and Freeman. Underneath to Salinas. No look to Ejimahe. He's going to get it, but still trouble defensively in the corner to Salinas. Coon Rapids all over him right now. Yeah, they're going to get a call on Russ, though.
So good, good defense there, but they're going to get the uh, originally, but they're going to get the reach in from Ross. His first personal team third. I think the I think the Cardinals were in uh, bonus third. situation already this time on Tuesday. Or the Apple Valley was. King with the long shot, not get does not get it to go. Hodge with the rebound. They're going to tie the ball up. And I think possession arrow will go to the. What is he calling? They're going to give the ball to the Polars. I think it, that's what it looks like. And Jamahe will take the ball out. Polars need points. He can get it up top to Hassan. Hassan over to King. King with a nice move, trying to get some open space back to Hassan. But that one was tipped. Hodges with a nice rebound underneath. Connor Jordan was all over that. See, there's the, I think it was just tipped. Parker Stoll called for the foul. His first team fifth. Salinas again. Oh, are they going to call the foul on Jordan? So those are those are fouls that I know it's got to drive Coach O nuts. Still dealing with those that foul problem just yep. a little bit. It'll be interesting to hear Coach's thoughts on that. He's a little visibly stressed yeah, right now well, about he, that. He just doesn't, he doesn't like his big guy in foul trouble. Salinas hits the first. That's two for Jordan. He's going to, well, not quite yet. He was going to take a seat on the bench. Gavin DeVries was, uh, was going to be looking to check in. Hits the second. Looking to make it uh, a three. And now he's, DeVries is in. And Jordan out with his two personals. Yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on that with eight minutes left in the first half and yep. second half all to go. Well, especially with a big lead. He misses the third rebound by Russ. They're going to call jump ball. Cardinals will, possession arrow will favor the Cardinals here. Gary Freeman directing traffic, going to try and drive the lane, and he's going to get a little bit of blowback there, and a nice tip away from Russ over to Freeman. Freeman underneath to Russ, easy basket. Freeman set that up perfectly. Yep. Cardinals, uh, I know Coach uh, uh, Gorick saying get back on defense. 16-point lead in the corner, all alone for San. Back to Edumame, Edumame, and that's going to be Should be Cardinal ball. Yep, it's over and back, so it should be Cardinal ball. Bennett is going to take it out for Coon Rapids. I want to reset the uh, shot clock to 20. Gets it up to Freeman up top, and he'll direct the offense. Freeman looking to get it in the corner to Bennett. And Bennett hits the three. He does it again. Boy, 32-13 in favor of Coon Rapids, and they're on fire from beyond the arc. A nice look under Salinas. And a great job by Jerry Freeman on the block. Ooh. Managed to get that under control, too, and didn't let it go out of bounds. That time, DeBreeze taking the three. Rebound by Russ, just lost the handle on it underneath Desan, and that Jamahe cannot save it as that pass was a little bit too tall for him. Checking in for the Colonels, number one. Kenny, Kenny Jones, Jones back in. And there's the, the three by Bennett. Able to get it to go. Jerry just sees the court, and he sees yep. that shot. He didn't even look to pass it. Yep. He knew he was there. He, he knew he was there. That's, that's what you miss when he's not in the lineup. Mm -hmm. Jones back to Freeman. Freeman up top to Russ. Russ is going to try and drive the lane, realize he is, and then he gets the ball stolen from him by Edumahe. That looked like a travel to me, I thought. Are they going to call? 
I thought that was maybe another offensive foul. Well, it could have been, yeah. and, and Parker Stoll one. got the worst of it. Looks like he's kind of clutching his I don't think ribs I hit the right ribs now. Or hitting the ribs, maybe. Stomach. So Adi's going to come in. Kind of limping at the same time, which is not yeah. good. No, that's not good. He just came back from injury, and he had that ankle injury, I believe. So uh, exiting the court yeah. right now. Jeremy Shepard will tend to him as Conway attempts some free throws. Going to miss the first. Down by 19 right now, so these free throws are very important to North St. Paul. Yes. Hits the second, makes it 32-14. And Adi will direct the offense here. Up top to Freeman. Freeman trying to drive the lane. Gets it underneath to Jones. Jones with the basket. And Jamame getting in the corner to Salinas. Back to King underneath. Nice back to Salinas, I'm sorry, to uh, Conway, and he's going to miss that shot. Jackson Young is going to bring in the rebound up top to Jones. Back to Young, he's got that shot. And that time, did not get what he want, needed. A little bit too much, but they're able to keep the basketball. Hassan there with the three, and they needed that. That makes it 34-17 with 6.02 remaining. Back to Belpedio, and he's going to get it knocked away by Brevin Conway. Back to Freeman off his foot. Nice save by Kenny Jones. And that's going to go out of bounds. That Hot hustling for that. Adi was definitely hustling for sure. Are they going to give the ball to North St. Paul? I think it might have gone off Freeman's foot. Nonetheless, yeah, the Polars will retain possession. Oh, that ball, that ball hit the basket. Which would be a turnover. North St. Paul definitely losing a big opportunity yeah, there. Yeah, huge opportunity after hitting that three. Completely just sucked all the air out of their yep. momentum. Jackson Young giving it back to Adi in the corner to Belpedio, back to Jones. And Jones will get the ball taken away from him. And uh, Polers will give it right back. And a little Jerry messy Freeman. the past couple of minutes. He gets the drop. Freeman using his speed to get between the defense and gets the bucket. He has five. Another turnover for the bowlers. Coach O wants them to continue to run. Back in the corner to Freeman. Freeman's going to try the three, and he's going to hit it. Freeman with eight. Big lead for Coon Rapids, 39-17 with five minutes remaining in the opening half. Nice and job Freeman by Freeman. Saw that. Well, he went up and over Conway. I'm yeah, Hassan, I mean. Elijah Jamaha hey, called for the infraction. That's going to be his second team fourth. Number 12, Javon Swift. And number Swift and Travail Hodge back in for North St. Paul. Kenny Jones in the corner to Belpedio. Nothing there. Back up top to Jones. Works the perimeter around to Freeman. Freeman looking for somebody, and he was troubled, but Jones able to make sure he gets the ball. And there's Young in the corner for the three, but he can't get that one to drop. And that's King with the rebound, trying to go all the way. He's not going to get a shot to drop. 
And Freeman's gonna come warm with the rebound up top to Adi. Adi's looking to distribute back in the corner to Young. Young's gonna put the fake, try and go inside, but good defense by the bowlers. Young going to the hole, can't get that to drop. He gets his own rebound, but he's gonna pick up the infraction. Jackson Young on the road relentless to the basket. Yeah, <laughs> well, he, he's an excellent player. He's We've watched him grow over the years. Again, nice job to try and get the look underneath, but just stays with it. Mm -hmm. Can't get the shot to drop, but he's been trying to earn two from the stripe. He's already had 15 points here in the first half. Leading the team here tonight. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Coach O, it'll be a little, little better tenor to your interview this tonight than it was the other night, providing this things stay the way they are, and every reason to believe that they have, they will. Yeah, Coach O always has the best things to say, no matter if they're winning or losing. The greatest. Yep. The greatest. <laughs> Hits them both. Makes it 41-17 in favor of the Cardinals. 16 points now yep. for him. Nearly half of the Cardinals' 41 points yep. here tonight. Over the corner to Swift, and he loses the, the handle on it. Well, a little bit of mustard on that pass. Just couldn't uh, gather it in. And Jordan back in the game with his two personals. There's Red, the, the Cardinals' number one fan, always in attendance. He was so nice to me the other night, saying hello to me. I'm like, that's Thank great. You. He's First the best. night on the broadcast. He's so the best. So great. Hetler over in the corner to Adi. Adi across court. He's, I think he stepped on the. Did he step on the line? I believe he did. Baseline violation. Conway with the basketball. King splits the defense in the corner. So Tyus, Wesley Tyus. Three point shot off the mark. Are they gonna call Young? Yeah, they're gonna call, I think they're gonna call Jackson Young on the for the infraction. Just his first. He's going to put Travell Hodge at the line for the Polars. Hodge looking for his first points of the night, trying to get him from the stripe. Gets the first shot. Second one's off the iron. Connor Jordan with the rebound. Jeremy Adi bringing it up top. Gets it back to Jordan, over to Hetwer. Hetwer trying to go inside to Adi, not there. Look back up top to Jordan, in the corner to Hetwer, but good job defensively by the Polars to knock that pass away, and they'll get possession. Now we're in the corner, and they're gonna lose possession on that one too. Hetwer with the basketball. Gets it to the corner to Young. Soft little floater's gonna go off the iron and miss. And Brevin Conway with the rebound for North St. Paul. Conway over to King. King looking underneath, nothing there. Back to Conway. Conway's going to split a couple of defenders, and then he's going to lose possession of the basketball. But they will retain it, and then the Cardinals almost had that. Got back by the Polars underneath. Shot. Polars really trying Tyus. to make something happen there, yeah. but just kind of... And that pass a little bit too too much for Jackson Young. Both these teams, Lexi, like to run. Yes, they do. Very fast-paced game. Yes, absolutely. And Adi, like Coach O said, when Freeman's not in the game, he does a very nice job of setting up the plays yep. for the Cardinals. Well, and then you know, Stoll too runs that now. He's he's not uh, not in, unfortunately. We got the injury. Well, hopefully he's going to be okay. But I, I don't see him back on the bench. I don't believe. Yeah, no sign of him right now. So hopefully he's okay. I'm assuming he went back to the locker room with Jeremy Shepard. Back in for the Cardinals. Freeman back in for Jeremy the Cardinals. Freeman. So you've got Young, Freeman, Hetwork, Jordan, and Belpedio on the court for the Cardinals. King, Conway, well, they figured Swift, Cardinal fans, put your hands together. Hassan. Red is in the house. Red is present. And 
and then Wesley Tyus is it's on the corner. Back over to Swift, and Swift's gonna, oh, gonna, gonna go off, off Coon Rapids. Polar is trying to make something happen down now by 23 with just a little under two and a half minutes before the half. Oh, almost a steal by Hetwer there. Cross court over to Salinas. He's going to take the shot off the front of the rim and Freeman with the rebound. Going to try and drive the length of the basket. Gets the shot off, but he's not going to get it to drop. And then Hassan with the rebound for the Polars. Over to King looking underneath, and nobody's there. And the look on Anthony Harris, head coach Anthony Harris' face is a little disappointed as uh, he's trying to figure out what he needs to do to get his team to respond here down 41-18. Coach Harris did say it was also a little bit of a rebuilding year. Yeah. Although they do have a lot of seniors on the team. There they was do. some movement and transfers with school. And it's his first year in the program as well. It is. So he's he has to kind of see the pieces, even though he has been coaching for 31 years. 31 years, years. was at St. Agnes before this, St. Paul Central, Highland Park. He's been he's been doing some coaching here in the, in the St. Paul area and doing good things for the basketball program in the state of Minnesota. Back up top to Salinas, Jordan got in the passing lane, knocked that one out of bounds. King up top. Oh, that's, oh, that was taken away by Hetler. Good defensive play. Jordan with the basketball for the Cardinals. Gets it underneath to Bepidio. Back in the corner to Freeman. Freeman hits the, the top part of the rim, but doesn't go in. And Swift with the rebound for the Polars. Oh, great job by Hetwer. Gets it up to Jackson Young for an easy bucket with a minute 18 remaining, a 43-18 lead for the Cardinals. That's a great defensive play by Hetwer. Salinas in the corner, guarded toughly underneath to Hassan. Easy basket for the Polar and cuts the lead to 43 to 20. Jerry Freeman. Directing traffic. He's looking for Young, not there. Gets it cross court to Belpedio in the corner. And inside to Jordan, and that ball is not going to fall. King with the rebound for North St. Paul. Looking in the corner is going to be a little bit too much again. We've seen quite a bit of this in terms of turning the ball over. Well, they're gonna, they, so the car, a Cardinal must have tipped that. I didn't. I didn't see it, but it'll it'll stay in possession of North St. Paul. Salinas up top to King over to Hassan, gets it back to King. 35 seconds remaining. Cross court back to Hassan. He's gonna try and get it inside. Gonna get it back to King in the corner. To Salinas, he's going to miss, but Hodges with a nice re Hodge with a nice rebound inside, and that's going to be a turnover on the Polars. Hodge working the inside, trying to get the pass underneath, but a little bit too much on there. And Coon Rapids with about 17 seconds remaining and a big lead here of 23. Freeman back to Young, back to Freeman. Tries to get it up, and he's going to draw contact. I'm going to call that on Travail Hodge. That's the his first team sixth. Putting Freeman on the line. Freeman with eight points on the night. Looking to go to double digits if he can hit them both. Gets the first. Russ and Jones back in for Coon Rapids. Framing the look, hitting the second shot here in his free throw opportunities. 
and he drains it. 45-20 in favor of Coon Rapids, and that gives Jerry Freeman 10 points here in the first half. Salinas with the basketball over to King in the corner to Hassan. Gets it back to King, cross court underneath to Tyus. Is it, no, it's gonna be a, a foul, I believe. Jason Russ called for the infraction. That's his first, no, I think it's his second. They don't have it up on the scoreboard, unfortunately, so I can't really, I can't really inform you. Hard off the back iron. It looked like it may have gone in, and that's, uh, that's going to be the half. The Cardinals with a big 45-20 lead. Really nice job. Pretty even scoring 10 points from Freeman. 18 points from Jackson Young. Seven from Connor Jordan. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Coach O'Gorick. And our Lexi Schweinert has Coach O'Gorick. Lexi. Tuesday, and so great to have Jerry Freeman back in the lineup. What kind of a boost does he give to your team? Oh, yeah, Jerry, like, last year, let us the points, rebounds, assists. So he just is, he can do it all. Like, he's a really tough kid, plays both ends, uh, just really is able to make plays and stuff, too. He's helping us move the ball really well. A lot of guys are, but, he, you know, he's that he's the straw that gets it going as the, as the one man. And Jackson Young, 18 points tonight, very clutch from the three-point line. What are you liking from him? Yeah, he's just aggressive. Like, he's someone that, I'll say this, you know, yesterday's practice coming off a disappointing Tuesday was one of the most locked in on both sides of the ball, and it's carrying over to today early. We have a great first half, but, you know, we, we still got another half of ball here, too, so. And Parker Stoll was back in the lineup tonight. Any update on him so far? Uh, he, I don't know. I got to go check with, uh, yeah, I know he talked to one of our coaches. I heard not in the half. So I don't know if he's out for the game or whatnot. So hopefully, hopefully even if he is out, hopefully it's just a little bit. That kid works harder than about anyone. So thank you so much, Coach. Right, thank you. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, but we'll be back with more action after this. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. Did you know major recreational equipment like RVs, campers, converted buses, and boats are allowed on residential property in Coon Rapids? But you are limited to two items that must be registered and operable. And any vehicle parked at a home for more than 12 hours must not exceed a certain size. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to coonrabbitsmn.gov. Fieldhouse where Coon Rapids leads North St. Paul by a score of 45-20. Obviously, it's been all Coon Rapids here in the first half. A far cry from that game on Tuesday night against Apple Valley. Here you're going to see the nice job by Jackson Young. He's got 18 points in that first half. Jerry Freeman doing a nice job here back in the action as well. And then he's going to get it to Young again in the corner. There's Ed Mahe. He hits the three for North St. Paul. And then Salinas is going to crash the boards. And then you see Jackson Young again. He was feeling it in that first half with, with 18 points. They're going to work it to him again in the corner, and he's going to drop that three. A lot of arc on that one. Connor Jordan's going to get the bounce off the rim, off the backboard. And then Jerry Freeman again, as we talked about, so great to have him back into the lineup, dropping the three. 
And that's where we sit at the break. Coon Rapids 45, North St. Paul 20. We're going to be back, hopefully, with some reactions from the North St. Paul Polar head coach, Anthony Harris, after this. Our Lexi Schweinert has Coach Anthony Harris on the sideline. Lexi. Hey, Coach, you were down by 25 at half. What did you tell your team in the locker room? You know, basically, I told them that we have to match Coon Rapids' energy. I mean, they're just we're just playing pickle in the middle. They're doing what they want to do. we got to be tougher on the defense. Uh, we got to match their energy because right now, it's going to be a long second half if we don't start matching their energy. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Howie, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Lexi. Uh, Coach Harris, uh, pretty uh, brutally honest. We're playing pickle in the middle. He says we have to match uh, Coon Rapids' intensity, and and they did not do that in the first half. So they're looking to, uh, I, I think the biggest thing here is they're going to get the ball first to start the second half. They're going to have to get points off their first possession, and then they're going to have to really play tough defense and try and get some stops here. As, uh, as, as Lexi talked to Coach Harris about down by 25, uh, they have to do some things to climb back up, and it's not an easy hole to be in, but uh, the Polars are going to try and work on it here as we get the ball inside to King. And he's going to miss that, the rebound by Freeman. We'll see how intense the Cardinals are. They had a lot of energy in that first half, Lexi, as uh, Coach O talked about. And Lots that, of energy. Yeah, and then a turnover inside to Salinas. Salinas with the give to Conway, and he's going to get the bucket. Two first two points of the game scored by the Polars. Coach Harris definitely liking that. Yep. Yep. Freeman gets it back to Jordan. Shot by Hetwer is off. And Edjamahe coming around with the rebound over to Hassan. He's going to miss the three over the back. It's definitely the size Duke King has. And they're going to call Freeman for the, uh, the back down foul. He's just going to. You're going to see he's trying to go over the back and get a piggyback ride. And there, <laughs> and Don't the, see that every day. Uh, no, you definitely do not. And that's uh, that's the third foul on Freeman. So he's going to come out with three personals. And that's uh, I know that's uh, he's disappointed to pick one up that early. Jeremy Adia will come in. And uh, he'll get back in quite obviously, but uh, they're going to let him sit here with his three personals. That's Salinas is going to get the one to drop, and he's going to get fouled. Going to get a three-point opportunity. All of a sudden, a little bit of energy from the Polars is there. And that's going to be on Connor Jordan, and that's going to be his third. So you're going to see where the contact, body contact was, and a nice job by Salinas to get the roll and the end one. So a three-point play for... The Polars, they scored the first five points of the basketball, of the second half here. Five unanswered. And you heard yes. Coach Harris at half saying they have to kind of match the Cardinals' energy. Yeah, but they, gotta, they have to get stops, too. Inside the young. Back up top to Adi. Over to Jordan. And he's going to drop the three. And that was a big three-pointer because that gets three of those five points that they lost back. Exactly. He has ten. Over to Salinas, over to Conway. Conway back up top to Salinas in the corner to King. He's going to try the long bomb, and he's got it. Just like that, the Cardinals yep. three-pointer is yep. perfectly matched. That's five on the night for him. Good defense there, but Adi back to Young. He's going to get the three look off, rolls off the rim. And Salinas with the rebound, just the start that the bowlers want. Conway underneath, and he's going to get the bucket and the foul, and I think that's going to be on Jordan. That'll be his fourth. Definitely getting into danger territory. 
territory. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's his fourth. And again, we saw that against Apple Valley. Foul trouble on, you know, on Jordan. Foul trouble on Young. But he's gonna, he's gonna stay in there. A little surprised by that. Yeah, I'm a little surprised as well. Kenny Jones in. And he's gonna hit that uh, three-point play again. 48-31 now in favor of the Cardinals. Adi going the length. Misses Jordan up top to Kenny Jones for the three. He gets the three. Big shot for Kenny. Puts it back to a 20-point lead for the Cardinals. And Amahe over to King. Almost stolen by Hetwer. Back in the corner, but Conway. He's going to try the inside, get this off little jumper. It's going to be off. And Jackson Young with the rebound for the Cardinals. He's going to try and bring it inside. Gets, turns around, gets a soft little jumper, gets it the ball. That, that, that puts him at 20. Good little pivot right there. Yep. Yeah, got a little space by getting getting back a little bit. Created for himself. Almost a steal by, by Young. Gets quick hands in there in front of Conway. Jordan now coming out. Yeah. Jason Ross. Jason Russ back in for Coon Rapids as well as Hodge for the Polars. Not sure what they called. Guess he kicked the basketball. I was looking down at my roster and up top over to Edjamahe. He's gonna work off Jones in the corner over to Salinas. He's gonna drive the basket back over to Conway for the three. Can't get that one to fall. And boy, King Sky high for that one and got it to fall. Have to settle for two. Well, they'll take it. Russ up top to Hetway, Hetwer, and he's gonna try the three. And he drops it. Jackson Hetwer, he's got a half a dozen. They are just sinking these three-pointers tonight. Well, yeah, you Beautiful. know, and it's, it's really nice to see that the accuracy from outside like that. And Amaha back in the corner to Salinas. He's going to try the three. It's going to go off the outside of the rim, and Adi with the rebound. Hodge is going to knock that one out of bounds. Russ up top. Looking to get it inside to Young, and there are a lot of bodies around Jackson Young, but he's able to stay with it, stay with the basketball. And then there's a fast break by Salinas. He's going to get the basketball, and it's 56 35 lead for the Cardinals. You can tell that North St. Paul is definitely playing more cohesively this half. Right. Beautiful look inside to Russ from Jackson Young. Nice dive from Young. Back in the corner for Salinas. He drives the bucket. Good defense by the Cardinals, but Hodge is right there to clean up the miss. That's 58-37. Russ for Coon Rapids. He's going to lose the handle on it, but Hetwer's going to be able to save it for the Cardinals. Back to Russ. And they're going to call. They're going to call that on Conway, I believe. And that's going to be his fourth. Javon Swift coming in for North St. Paul. And uh, Conway not happy, letting the officials, officials know he wasn't happy with that. His fourth personal, which will put him on the bench. Jackson Young is get a nice path to the bath basket, and he's going to miss it, but he's going to be fouled on the shot. Going to get a chance to go to the line to earn two. They're going to call it Travail Hodge for the infraction. There you can see a nice path to him. He's going to get the contact there. And Jackson Young trying to earn him from the stripe. Mm -hmm. It's been extremely accurate tonight. It's the first. Jackson Young will shoot one more. Oh, wow. 
and hits the second to give the Cardinals this 60-37 lead. Salinas back up top to Ejimahe. Over to King, he's gonna try the long distance shot. And Young's gonna come away with the basketball. Down court for Coon Rapids. Oh. And slipped Young's a little bit, lost it. the handle, yep. And then Hodge is gonna do the same. Tried to make something happen way too quick and he just was not there. Yeah, he just wasn't able to bring that pass ah, in. Take it by the Cardinals. Coon Rapids is gonna call a timeout with a 60-37 lead, Lexi. Good time to kind of call one and slow that pace of play down a bit. Don't stop believing, playing in the background. That's right. Never stop believing. Exactly. Always have confidence in yourself. And I think that, uh, you know, you talked to Coach Harris, thinks he's got to like that. I mean, obviously the deficit is large, but he's got to like the effort a little bit here to start this second half from his guys. Exactly. I mean, there was five unanswered points by the Polars. Definitely a good start. Whatever pep talk he gave his kids in the locker room definitely helped. Um, you know, something else Coach Harris said is that he really admires the way Coach O coaches his kids. He says his team is very scrappy and they have a lot of discipline and was hoping to match that tonight. Well, I'm a big fan of Coach O and... Uh, I'll be the first to admit that, obviously. I, I really like what he's done with this program. He's, he's a great guy, and he, and, he, and he really knows how to run a program. Jeremy Adi will take the basketball down court for the Cardinals, gets it to Kenny Jones. Kenny Jones gives it back to Jackson Young. Go behind the back action there. Oh, and Adi's gonna lose the handle on that. Salinas with the basketball for the Polars. Oh, Adi with just a nice job getting in the passing lane. It'll stay bowler basketball, but he avoids that opportunity for Ejimahe in the corner. Davian Aluka in for Coon Rapids, first time this evening. And he's got some size. He's 6'7". That is some height. That is, some, that is definitely some vertical. Oh, Jackson Young just staying with Salinas, doing a great job, beats him to the basket. That's 24 points for Young. Unreal. Salinas for the Polars, gonna take the quick jumper, tries to get the back, get a shot off the backboard, but Kenny Jones will come away with the basketball. Hetwer for Coon Rapids, gets across court to Adi, but King is there for the steal. Kenny Jones with the deep defender, gets to get the foul. And I think that's a pretty good foul because it, it makes him earn the points from the stripe. Although it's the fourth personal for Coon Rapids here in this second half. But it's just a nice job by King, gets the steal, tries to go for the bucket. And Kenny Jones is gonna get him, kind of swiped him across the face, but inadvertently, of course. There you see the numbers for Duke King tonight, seven points for the sophomore. He had seven points on Tuesday. Too. Yes, he did. To beat that tonight. He'd like to have that one back. Alex Rodriguez Donch in for the first time tonight for the Polars. He's a junior. We saw him play in that JV game. Missed that one, but the bowler's able to come off the rebound and will reset King over to Swift. Swift from long ways out. They call Adi. Didn't see what that one was I thought there. it was a push underneath the basket maybe, but I'm not sure who they called it on. There, yeah, they're gonna call it on Jeremy Adi for the push. So that will be his first team fifth. Gets the ball to King to Salinas. Inside to Rodriguez Donch, but he, good defense for the Cardinals. Hetwer comes away with it over to Young. Young driving the basket. Again, he makes something happen. Doesn't get the basket, but again, an opportunity to earn from the strike. He really created a lot of space there as well. You're gonna see Rodriguez Donch step in 
and take the foul. Didn't get those feet set. So it hits his, his first, team third. Young hits the first. Looking to add here. And he gets the second. All that time in the gym, Lexi, shooting free throws. It's all paying off. Yep. Another turnover for the Polars. We'll give the ball back to Coon Rapids. I didn't see what they called there. Coach Harris a little bit heated right now. I, I understand that. Hetworth gets it up top to Young. Young from outside. He's going to miss everything. And who's going to come away with it? It's King. King in the corner to Adamaje. He's going to miss big time. And Adi, the smallest guy in the court, gets the rebound. And they're going to say it went off Adi. Wow, I really think that it went off the bowlers. Looked like it went off King, but the uh, I think King pleaded his case to the official, and the official bought it. Oh, no, it uh, definitely King. went off. It went off Adi. Yeah, now that I see the other yeah. angle. Adi was ang arguing for the opposite way, but... <laughs> of course he has to. Yeah, it, it was, exactly. Another foul there. They're going to call this one on Aluka. All of a sudden, the uh, the fouls are starting to add up now for Coon Rapids. That is the sixth, but of course it was a shooting foul. Salinas hits the first. He has ten. He's the leading scorer for the Polars, I believe. Missed the first off the iron, and that time. Luca coming away with the rebound over to Kenny Jones. Jones inside to Jackson Young. Oh, nice look. Hatwer didn't get it to go, but what a what a nice look from Young. No look pass over to Hatwer. Wide open. And call. I think they called a foul, but I don't know who on, but. Hat, oh, Hatware off the back, off the back of Swift. Wow. That was smart basketball yeah, yeah, right well, there. It's good basketball IQ. Edjamahe in the corner to Salinas. Salinas with the soft little jumper gets that one to drop. Uh, he's got a dozen. Jerry Freeman back in the action with three personals. And that time, Rodriguez Dodge blocks him. The yep, attempt back to King. Quick, fast break basket. Those are the things I know, Coach. I mean, with a big lead, it's it's somewhat acceptable, but you, you've got to get back on defense. You can't give up that kind of look. Freeman looking to get the basket. Oh. Oh, uh, again. They're going to call Luca again. I mean, Aluka called for the infraction again. That's a couple on him now. And the bonus situation for the Cardinals. Anthony Belpedio, I think, will come in for him. Seven fouls now in this half. Yeah, yeah, see, and again, plenty, still plenty of time, 10.35, but fortunately the Cardinals have a large lead. Elijah Adjamahe. Just three points for the night. Looking to increase that. And he does not. Jerry Freeman comes away with the rebound. Where's the infraction there? You know, the more you get to work with Joe and I, the more you'll realize we're big homers. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too much fun. We have fun. Belpedio driving the basket. Good defense there, but it comes back to Hetwer. Hetwer with the soft little floater. Going to get it to drop. Hetwer has 10 on the night. Another leader for this team. Oh, well, timeout. Yeah, Edgemahe was looking like he was going to lose the basketball, so Coach Harris smartly calls the timeout, keeps possession in the hands of the Polars. Very smart. Kind of.
Kohler is kind of using this timeout to recombobulate, figure out a game plan for the last 10 minutes of this matchup. They definitely don't want to fall to 0-2, no. but it looks like right now the Cardinals are going to come away with this Well, one. you know, Lexi, a big reason for this uh, Cardinal lead has been three-point shooting, quite obviously. And let's take a look at some of the three-point shots. Jackson Young leading the way as uh, he gets one there. Freeman again. Now Jackson Young was really hot to open his first half. Drops another one. There's a fourth. There's the fifth. And Jackson Hetwork from outside. Everybody's hitting threes for Coon Rapids here this Hetwer evening. A senior and young and junior. And yep. Exciting talent on this team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Almost a turnover there. Salinas looking for a step back, but good defense by Belpedio. Finds inside to Rodriguez. Donch back to Salinas from way outside, and he drops it. Big three-point shot for Salinas. He's got 15 lead way, the lead way for the Polars. Young looking to drive the basket. Little soft step back. Can't get it. Quick rebound by the Polars. King trying to take it to the basket. It's going to be off the mark, and Young gets the rebound and gets it over to Hetler and back now back to Young. You know, Cardinals uh, certainly, even though there's a shot clock, can afford to take time off the clock with this big lead. And there's a, a bump by Edjumahe, but, oh, and then Kenny Jones is coming back. Now hopefully he's okay. Running into our camera op, Dave Emmy. We hope Dave Emmy's okay. Dave uh, is dealing with some broken ribs. Uh, we hope he's okay. He ran right into the camera. We're going to see it's Salinas. And there's the foul by Kenny Jones. And he's going to run right into the camera, right into Follow Dave Emmy. Hopefully, hopefully both those young men are okay. Holding his head a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if that camera went into his into his head. He's he's up and he's uh, he's okay. And we, we just hope that uh, Dave Emmy's doing okay. Yeah, Dave uh, Dave may have taken the worst of that. Is he's already dealing with uh, he's on IR with a rib injury. Wrap him in bubble wrap. He might have to. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He was not happy about that collision. It's the last thing he needs with uh, dealing with those broken ribs, but he's tough. I think he's, he needs a sub. He's grizzled. Well, you're doing it all tonight, Lexi. Maybe you should go over and do that. Honestly, you do throw everything. Me in. Yeah. <laughs> Hassan from the line misses that one. Rodriguez Donch with the rebound. Tries to get that back up and in. That time. We're going to call this on the Cardinals again. They're going to call that on. But there's Dave. He's okay. Love that smile. Look at that. No tears shed from Dave Emmy. He's tough. No. He's tough as nails, that guy. That's going to be called on Belpedio. That's his second. Now put Rodriguez Donch to the line for the bowlers. North, number three, Ryder Salinas. Salinas, uh, okay. Back into the action. I'm good to see that. Yeah, their lead scorer tonight and lead scorer on Tuesday. So yep. definitely want him in this type of game. The backboard is your friend. Here's a second. 20 point lead for the Cardinals. Polar's looking to get it under 20 with they can this shot is successful. And it is. Jackson Young back up to Jerry Freeman. Feeds it to Hetwer. Hetwer in the corner over to Valpedio. Back to Young. And another three. Quick pass, quick pass. 29 pass. points. I'm not sure what his career is. Step back for Ajumai, and he's nothing but net as he drills that one. Answer right back. And that's what they need. But they can't trade baskets. They, uh, they need stops. Well, I'll tell you. Edgemahi gets, gets away with some fouls. Belpedio in there for the basketball. 
Oh, they're gonna call Freeman. Oh no, they're gonna call a they're gonna call a walk. Wow. That was impressive. It doesn't count, but nope. it was impressive. No, that was. So it'll stay Coon Rapids basketball. Well, I have a I have a player in that is not on our roster for North St. Paul. Fifty-two. Don't see him on the JV. Don't see him on the varsity. Kenny Jones up top gives it back to Freeman. Freeman's going to drive the lane. Gets it back to Young. Young across to Kenny Jones for the three. Kenny gets it to roll in and out, and Young's going to get that basketball. Uh, the, and North St. Paul's going to knock it away from him. So the Cardinals with 8.23 and a 19-point lead. Oh, tries to get it underneath, and it's stolen. Underneath to Conway. Nice job. Beautiful pass by Anjamae. And North St. Paul trying to cut into this lead down to 17 for the Cardinals. Hetwer. Gives it to Freeman. Freeman looking for the three. Nothing but net for Jerry Freeman. Puts it down. back to a 20-point lead for the Cardinals. Timeout called. There Jerry. with 7.58. Jerry Freeman definitely the one to set up most of the plays, but he can be clutch with those threes as well. Absolutely. And, then, you know, the things that they missed with that young man out of the lineup, just he adds so much. Not even even the scoring aside, he adds so much more defensively and distributing the basketball. And yeah, he's uh, he's a he's a good player for this Coon Rapids team. He has 13. Three players in double digit points. Tonight. Yep. And again, the Polars actually trying to get stops here. They need stops, but the, the Cardinals with that big three push that lead back to 20. With uh, There's still plenty of time left, but nonetheless, uh, time, the North St. Paul needs stops and they need buckets. And at this point, it looks like they're starting get, to get just a little bit fatigued. They don't have that depth that can right. wrap it. No, and, and maybe a little frustrated as well. Coach Harris uh, talking to his guys about what he wants them to try and do here with this last 7.58. And the Cardinals holding a commanding 20 point lead. Bowlers with the basketball. And Jamahe taking it down court. Oh, and nice job by Young to get uh, away, but Conway is right there for the basket. Young to Hetwer. Hetwer testing the edge back to Young. Young oh, lost the handle, but Ajumahe could not retain it. And the Cardinals will keep this basketball here with about seven and a half minutes remaining. Jackson Hetwer will take it out for Coon Rapids. To Jones, back to Hetwer from the corner. That one's way off, but nice rebound by Young. Back to Freeman. Freeman underneath with a bucket. Freeman with 15. And Jemayu over the timeline. Back in the corner to Conway. He's going to drive inside. It's knocked away by Belpedio. And he gets the basket. Freeman quickly up court. Back to Hetwer. Hetwer's going to try the three again. Gets it rolling in and out. Just a little off the target. Yep. And then Hodge with the rebound. And then a turnover for North St. Paul. Good block there. Oh, and Kenny Jones came hard on the floor. 
bit slow to get up. It looks yeah, like he's, he's going to be okay. Edgemahe, that's his third, fourth team foul. So Jones with an opportunity from the stripe to earn him. Hits the first. Back in for the Cardinals, Jason Russ. Jason Rust back in for the Cardinals and Avian Pay in for the Polars. And he gets the second. Back to a 20 point lead for the Cardinals. Ejimahe over the center line. Inside the Hodge. Good defense by the Cardinals. But gets it back to Salinas inside the Hodge and knocked away. Belpedio up top, but that ball is going to be taken away by Ajumahe, and then Belpedio is going to pick. Oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, Bennett's going to pick up the foul. Getting a little bit messy at this yep. point. Yep. And I believe so. That's the 10th team foul, so foul, it'll be two shots. His first, team 10. Bonus. Two shots for Ed Jumahe. I think if he would talk to Coach O about, you know, one of the things he does not like, he's, I'm sure he would say too many fouls. Was this an issue last year as well? Was, yeah, I mean, but it just, I mean, the way to start out the game one and then game two made it made it a little more difficult here. But, uh, you know, those are things that you're being aggressive and you're trying to win the game, misses the first. Yeah, especially early in the season. Yep. You want to come out hot, get yep. those wins on your schedule. Duke King back into the game for the Cardinals. And that one's off as well. And Jackson Young is going to come away with it. A lot of contact, no call. All over him. Yeah. Now they're going to get it. Now they'll get it. Ajumahi, that's his fourth, fifth team foul, and just a, just a lot of contact. Like I said, we've seen. I mean, they could have called a, an infraction there, and they could have called one there, and Took they finally called bit. one there. <laughs> Jerry Freeman with the basketball, looking over to Rust. Rust thought about it. Tries to get it inside. Does to Bennett. Right. Bennett gets the basket. Coon Rapids starting to increase this lead and almost a steal there by Rush. Just a really good job. Uh, kind of a lazy pass to Salinas. And Rush almost made them pay. Again, just a nice dish inside to Bennett. Bennett has five. Over to King, back to Adjumaye. In the corner to Conway. Hard off the iron, Jackson Young with the rebound. Gets it back to Kenny Jones. Kenny oh, is gonna turn the ball right over. There. And Conway is gonna get the dunk. Leads 20 for the Cardinals with 5.25 remaining. Jackson Young over center court. Gonna drive inside. And again, just a really nice job using his size. And then the turnover again, and another basket by Freeman. All of a sudden, it's a 24-point lead for Coon Rapids with five minutes remaining. Freeman just down there by himself, surrounded by three polar players, and he had no problem nope. taking it to the hoop. It's Jerry Freeman. Love him. And the Cardinals are gonna be called for an infraction. There's the steal. Jason Russ with the foul. And this is just a really nice play. Shields the defender with his body and able to get the ball. Conway misses the first. Connor Jordan and Jeremy Adi in for the Cardinals. For North, it's Robert Hassan. Conway has one more shot. Conway trying to earn the back end of this. And he does not. 
Uh, they're going to call another infraction on Coon Rapids. I think maybe they're going to call this one on Bennett. Nope, they're going to call this on Russ. That'll be his fourth. Russ is fourth. Line two, two, number 10, Hassan. Hassan on the line here for the Polars. Hits the first. Jackson Young, Jackson Young coming back in for Coon Rapids, and Russ will take a seat on the bench. Misses the second, Young with the rebound. Gets it to Bennett. Quickly down court, over to Adi. He's gonna try from way outside. Does not get that re get that shot to drop, but Bennett able to save it. Adi retrieving it. In the corner to Freeman. Freeman looking for some room, does not get it. Gets his own rebound, gets Jerry the bucket. Freeman. Jerry Freeman with 19. Back to Salinas from way outside. He drops it. Salinas with 20. Connor Jordan looking for Bennett. Bennett almost lost, but it went right to Freeman. Freeman going inside against the big boys. Oh. Jump ball. Believe it goes the way of uh, the Polars. Sam's got to be careful. He was uh, jaw jacking a little bit with the official. Officials are not going to like that. No, you're out. You're out if they uh, if they don't like what you have to say. They're going to tee up. Really oh, some nice job defense. underneath. Beautiful wrap around by Conway. As the uh, bowler is able to cut the lead back to 20 with 3.56 remaining. I mean, look at the pass inside. Conway doing a good job. He could have been called, uh, Adi could have been called for a foul there. Got a little piece of him going underneath, but nonetheless, just a really nice wrap around, Lexi, to, to get that basket to cut it to 20. Conway, a really nice player for North St. Paul, too. He just creates space with his lanky physique and just drives it to the basket. Parker Stoll now at the end of the Cardinals bench, so it's good to see him back. Not yep. Doesn't look like he's gonna be back in tonight's game, but good that he is at least back here with the presence next to the court. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, I'm sure uh, not in, he's getting, he's talking to Jeremy Shepard, the head trainer here, uh, still giving him, uh, talking to him a little bit. I mean, I don't see anything wrapped, which is good, but I know he took a, he took a shot to the ribs earlier. And I think that, that, and then he saw him limp again. So he's, yeah. uh, hopefully he's gonna be okay. Speaking of rib injuries, Dave Emmy. He's, he's the, like, I can relate. He's the poster boy for old men with rib injuries. <laughs> Jackson Young taking it inside to Connor Jordan. And that was uh, Duke King from behind getting the turnover. Back to San over to Edemahe in the corner to Conway being guarded by Adi. Double team there inside Hassan over in the corner to Salinas. You don't want to leave him open, but that's way off the mark. And Jeremy Adi, shortest guy on the, on the, on the court, is going to take it all the way down. He has got some speed. He had like three times he checked over his shoulder. It's like, nope, nowhere close. Joe Young's favorite player. Definition of scrappy right yep. there. Not sure if they called that on, they call that on Hep. No, they're gonna call it on Jordan. Uh, Connor Jordan, and then he, that's his fifth. So that'll get uh, Belpedio out on the, on the floor. Cardinals with a 22 point lead.
Hard off the iron, misses the first. Mom Hay looking for the back end of this. And he does get it. 88-67 in favor of Coon Rapids. A little bit of pressure now defensively for from the Polars. Jackson Young drives the length of the court. Couldn't get it to fall on a quick rebound there. Uh, then a turnover. Jackson Young, I don't know if he saw Jerry Freeman up top. They're going to call him for the charge. Had, had Jerry Freeman in the corner. I don't know if you saw him. Nice job by Heidi getting a piece of the basketball. Freeman to Young for the basket. That's 33 points for Jackson Young on the night. And then another steal, Freeman. Jackson only had seven points last game. Yeah, well, he was in foul trouble for sure. So that, that, was, uh, that was definitely a reason for it. And then Conway is going to lose the, the handle of the basketball and the turn it over. 14, Gavin DeVries Gavin and right Raymond Bennett back in. And, and Devian Aluka back in for the Cardinals. Got a little fan talking to me on hey, the side. Hey, you know, girl power. <laughs> I know. She just wanted to know when the game's over. That's great. Unfortunately. <laughs> Adi. Over to Bennett. Back over to DeVries. Adi from way outside. Doesn't uh, fall hard off the iron. Hassan. Can't get it to drop. Bennett with the rebound. Adi back up court. Over in the corner. Tried to get it to the corner. To Belpedio. And then Conway. He's not going to get the shot, but he's going to be able to get two opportunities from the stripe. Gavin DeVries with the infraction. And Conway with 16 points trying to add to that total here late in the game. Misses the first. can't see this right now, but how he's bobbing his head to the oh, cheerleader's I'm into chant. It. I'm into it. We need the... a little camera <laughs> in our booth. <laughs> Gets the second one to fall. DeVries back over to Adi. Guarded by Edramahe. Back to Aluka. Aluka inside the, the Belpedio, but it's going to be taken away by Conway, and then I think Belpedio is going to pick up the interaction. So that'll be his... I'm not sure what that is. They don't have him up on the scoreboard. Nonetheless, that's going to put Brevin Conway to the line. Working on 17 points, make it 18 on the night. Yes, <laughs> Mike. Oh. Yes, jo Joe's. Now Joe's new favorite player, Connor Young. That's, that's uh, Jackson's brother. And the difference in height between that young man and his older brother, he's 5'4". I think he just hasn't hit his growth he, No, he yet. will. He missed the first. The Polars will get that rebound. Adamante, Adamante steps back, can't get it. Connor Young with the rebound in the 
The crowd goes wild. Adi with the basketball. Gets it over to Connor Young. To DeVries, hits it hard off the iron. And Mahe with the rebound with a minute remaining. Gets it to Conway. Conway out, goes out over Luca. Back to Connor Young. That was Bennett with the three, and he's going to miss. Gets it over to Salinas. Salinas working on Aluka. Gets it up top to Hassan. Hassan driving down the lane, tries to go around Adi, and he does, and gets the basket. 90 to 73 in favor of Coon Rapids. Much better second half for the Polars, but good second half for the Cardinals, too, to continue to this, with this lead. Gets it over to Connor Young. Over to Bennett. Bennett's going to try for the three, and he's going to drop it. Puts the lead back to 20. And that will do it. The Cardinals are going to get a 20-point win, 93-73 over the Polars from North St. Paul. That'll even up their record at 1-1 one and one in a big victory. I know Coach O said we've, we've got to come away with a win after uh, not playing well against Apple Valley. And the North St. Paul comes in as a team that they felt they matched up really well with, had the opportunity to get the win. And the Cardinals, as, you, as we mentioned, will move to 1-1. One and one. And the fans on the court, they're very happy. A pretty exciting finish for the Cardinals. And Alexi Schweiner's looking to see if we can uh, get, hopefully, Connor Young. I'm sorry, uh, Jackson Young. And hopefully, Coach O will talk a little bit about their thoughts on this victory. But uh, definitely, Jackson Young with his, I believe, 33 points. High score on the night for the Cardinals. Everybody's having a good time, taking pictures, gets the win. It's always fun when you get the win. And I think Lexi has Jackson Young. All right, we've got, uh, we've got Lexi over on the side. Lexi, go ahead, take it away. to your success on offense? I mean, I got to just give it to my teammates. I mean, as you could tell, not a lot of my buckets were off uh, off a dribble. So I just got to give it to my teammates. They were they were the ones passing me the ball. Huge turnaround from Tuesday night. What was different tonight? I think just overall, like the team energy was better. I think our morale was really down and we just had to get like the rust off of us. But now I think our team is going to be flowing and like into the rest of the season. And I have to ask, how fun was it to see your brother on the court in the that, last few minutes? That there? was fun. That was really fun. I, I'm happy for him. I, I wish him the best, obviously. Awesome. Congratulations Thank tonight. You. Thank you. All right, gonna step it over here to Coach, who I believe is with maybe his kid or one of the one of the ball boys here tonight. Coach, totally different look from Tuesday night. You you told me after Tuesday's game that you felt like your team was playing defense the entire time or the majority of the game, but tonight it looks like you guys really controlled the pace of play. Yeah, I mean, we did a lot better. We set the tone tonight, which was good. Defensively, I really liked us in the first half. I'm not going to lie, second half, I did not. Second half, we really gave up some things defensively, and we still got to shore it up. You know, we're in toughest conference in the state, so we're going to have to be better at that end still. But big strides today, a lot more physical today. I think that's some of the, like, the biggest thing is like the physicality, the willingness to get on the floor, and uh, we really responded to that, so I'm very pleased with that. What's going to be your focus in practice leading up to Tuesday's game against Hastings? You know, again, it's still early in the year. So overall execution, you know, we got to clean up a couple things. And, you know, obviously still that defensive side of the ball is going to be big. I think tonight we produced a lot of turnovers. That That's when we're at our best. So how do we how do we shore up possessions when we don't get that initial turnover? So I think that'll be our focus. So. Awesome. Well, one and one on the season now. Congrats, Coach, and enjoy this win. I appreciate it.
All right, Howie, I will send it back up to you. Thanks, Lexi. Great interviews. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you talk about, Coach O talked about, yeah, definitely early in the season. So they will continue to work on, on really the, the things that they need to do to continue to be successful. But he's got to be happy with this 93-73 win. And again, the Polars did a really good job to start this second half. They came out and were able to cut into this lead. But, you know, give credit to the Cardinals. They did a really nice job of building it back up. Jordan there with the three. And then Hetwer got hot too as well in the second half. A three-point shot from them. And then underneath to, that was, uh, I believe that was Russ. And then the star of the night, Jackson Young with the bucket. Nice job working the ball around the perimeter. Another bucket there as uh, he was hot all evening long. But Cardinals move to one and one. They get this 93 to 73 win. But we've got a lot more. We're going to be right back here on Monday night to get our first look at the girls basketball squad. And then on Saturday the 16th, outdoor hockey. Girls are going to take on Anoka Elk River. I or, or say uh, Elk River. And the boys will take on Anoka. And then we'll get that chance to go see the girls hockey team on the 19th as they take on North Wright County. But a lot of action and a great game tonight. Final score, 93-73. Coon Rapids gets the win, but that's going to do it for us tonight. For the man in charge, Joel Sipper, and my partner, Lexi Schweier, I am Howie Shapiro saying goodnight. <laughs>